Ever wake up feeling like you've wrestled a grizzly bear in your sleep? Well, you might just have fibromyalgia or a very active dream life. Fibromyalgia, friends, is a bit of a medical enigma, a mysterious condition that seems to have a penchant for widespread pain and fatigue. It's like your body decided to throw a party and instead of sending out invites to fund things like energy and vitality, it accidentally cc'd pain, fatigue and a whole bunch of other uninvited guests. Now don't panic, though it sounds like something a Victorian novelist would invent to add drama to their plot. Fibromyalgia is very real but also manageable. It's a journey, a mystery novel of sorts, with symptoms as clues. So let's roll up our sleeves, or better yet, loosen our pajamas and dive into the top 10 symptoms of fibromyalgia. At number 10, we have fatigue. Not the I just ran a marathon fatigue, but rather the I just blinked twice and need a nap kind. Imagine feeling like you've just wrestled a giant, but all you've done is brush your teeth. That's fibromyalgia fatigue for you. It's like your energy levels are playing a perpetual game of hide and seek and they're winning. So if you're feeling more tired than a sloth on sedatives, you might want to keep watching. Number nine on our list is cognitive difficulties, or as we like to call it, fibro fog. It's like your brain decided to take a vacation without you. Picture this. You're trying to remember where you put your keys, but your brain is off somewhere in the Bahamas, too busy sunbathing to help. It can be frustrating, but hey, at least your brain is getting a good tan, right? Remember, it's not you, it's your brain on a tropical beach sipping pina coladas. Moving swiftly on to number eight, headaches. Not the kind you get from your boss, but the ones that feel like a very persistent woodpecker has mistaken your head for a tree. These headaches are as stubborn as a mule and as relentless as a toddler asking why for the hundredth time. Now let's roll into number seven, irritable bowel syndrome. Imagine your stomach playing a game of musical chairs, only there's no music and there's only one chair. It's a bit like that. Finally, we arrive at number six, numbness or tingling. It's like that feeling when you've sat on your foot for too long, but it's your whole body and it doesn't go away when you stand up. It's like hosting a constant party for pins and needles, but you're the only one not having fun. If you're starting to see a pattern here, don't worry, your fibro fog hasn't lifted. We're just halfway through our list. At number five, we have sleep disorders, because why would anyone want a peaceful night's sleep, right? We're talking about those nights where you're tossing and turning, counting sheep, elephants, and maybe even aliens. This is not your usual I drank too much coffee type of sleeplessness. This is fibromyalgia sleeplessness, the kind that makes you feel like you've just run a marathon backwards. Moving on to number four, ever wake up feeling like you've been hit by a truck? Well, that's morning stiffness for you. It's like your body decided to have a party while you were asleep and forgot to clean up the mess. And at number three, we have mood disturbances. Picture this, one minute you're belly laughing at a cat video and the next you're sobbing because you've run out of biscuits. It's a roller coaster ride of emotions. If you're laughing and crying at the same time, don't worry, that's just a mood disturbance kicking in. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, or dreading, depending on your mood swing. At number two, we have depression. Not the I just watched a tearjerker movie kind, but rather the I can't find my keys and now my life is over kind. You know, the kind where even a kitten video can't lift your spirits. It's like being stuck in a perpetual Monday morning without coffee. Right, moving on to the reigning champ, the big number one, widespread pain. Imagine being tickled by a mischievous ghost all over all the time. And not the friendly Casper type, more the gotcha kind of phantom. It's like a never-ending game of tag where you're always it. Not the best game to be a part of, I tell you. And there you have it, folks, the elusive top two symptoms of fibromyalgia. Now who needs a good laugh and a hot compress? Now let's put a funny spin on this roller coaster of symptoms we've just explored. Picture this, you're like a superhero, your power feeling everything tenfold. You've got heightened senses like Spider-Man, but instead of dodging danger, you're dodging drafts and chilly weather. Remember symptom 10, the sensitivity to cold? You're not just sensitive, you're a walking, talking weather forecast. Then there's that fatigue, it's not just tiredness, it's a masterclass in power napping. You could give a sloth a run for its money, and let's not forget the brain fog, or as I like to call it, the where did I park the car syndrome. It's like your brain decided to take a vacation and forgot to invite you. Now onto the top two. The widespread pain, 
You're not just a superhero, you're a super feeler. You feel everything everywhere and the sleep disturbances. Who needs sleep when there's a late night infomercial marathon on TV? While we've had a chuckle, it's important to remember that there are treatments available. Imagine a buffet, but instead of food, it's full of options to manage fibromyalgia. There's physical therapy for the super feeler in you, helping to reduce that widespread pain. There's medication for those sleep disturbances because let's face it, infomercials get boring after a while. And don't forget the where did I park the car syndrome. Cognitive behavioral therapy can help your brain find its way back from that vacation. You see, fibromyalgia might make you feel like a reluctant superhero, but with the right treatments, you can take control of your powers. And hey, who knows? Maybe one day you'll find a way to use that heightened sensitivity to predict the lottery numbers. Remember folks, Fibromyalgia may be a pain, literally. But with the right treatment and a healthy dose of humor, it doesn't have to run your life. Now go forth and be fabulous, my fibro warriors.